LA generator, and even a helicopter that functioned using radio frequencies, a genuine free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged. It took me several months to locate him, but when I finally did, it was truly astonishing. Maxwell is a prime example of the boundless creativity that thrives within our continent and a major milestone for Africa's technological progress. The Harar Institute of Science and Technology has officially acknowledged one of the most revolutionary innovations in the automotive sector. Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbatso, the brilliant mind behind Seth Technologies, has introduced the world's first self-potent vehicle an accomplishment that challenges traditional science and positions Zimbabwe at the forefront of energy innovation. The acknowledgement from HIT's Vice Chancellor Professor Engineer Quinton K. Hukumu signifies an important moment for Africa's technological advancement. Addressing a group of esteemed guests at the presentation of Chico's latest creation, Professor K. Hukumu's speech carried both scientific credibility and national pride. His words emphasized how innovation has always propelled humanity forward as we confront energy shortages, environmental challenges, and economic struggles. Technology emerges as a beacon of hope. It is a privilege to be part of this remarkable occasion. The launch of Seth Technologies' groundbreaking microenergy technology today. We are not only celebrating a significant technical breakthrough, but also witnessing the dawn of a new age in energy innovation, developed right here in Africa. For far too long, Africa has been perceived as a consumer rather than a creator of new technologies. Seth Technologies is transforming this narrative. This breakthrough signifies a movement towards homegrown solutions aimed at tackling global challenges. What makes this event even more extraordinary is that this groundbreaking innovation was pioneered by one of our own Maxwell Sangulani, Chikumbutso. Maxwell represents the immense potential of African ingenuity. His achievements inspire not just Zimbabwe, but the entire African continent supporting local inventors. Like Maxwell is not just a moral duty, it is a strategic necessity for our growth and competitive stance on the world stage. This statement carries immense significance. Professor Engineer Quentin K. Hukumu, the Vice Chancellor of the prestigious Harar Institute of Science and Technology has placed his distinguished career in scientific credibility behind Zimbabwe's most innovative inventor, Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbutso. We are among the first to accomplish this worldwide. We have witnessed it, we have tested it, and it has been verified beyond our borders. It functions. What we possess is referred to as a micronic energy device. But before reaching this point around 2013, I had already begun working on it. My journey started in 2003. When I first had this vision, I was focusing on three projects at the time. I became intensely interested in radio frequencies, an area where I have exceptional proficiency when it comes to radio frequencies. I have extensive knowledge. I have discussed my work with leading experts in the field, including renowned scientists like Nassim, Hare and I have spoken with top intellectuals in the U.S. and interacted with some of the greatest scientific minds. Many doubt me because I lack formal education, but my expertise in radio frequencies is profound. Most of my projects are centered around radio frequencies, and I can confidently state that I comprehend them thoroughly. I have documented my findings, but who exactly is Maxwell Sangulani Chikombutso? The man behind this remarkable breakthrough? Born in 1980 in Budo, a densely populated suburb of Harar Chikumbutso, grew up in a financially struggling family due to economic difficulties, he was compelled to leave school at the age of 14, cutting short his formal education. However, his absence of academic qualifications was more than balanced by his intelligence, relentless curiosity, and natural talent for innovation. Unlike conventional inventors who follow structured academic pathways, Chikumbutsu acquired all his knowledge through self-education without access to laboratories or mentors. He utilized discarded electronic parts to construct rudimentary devices. One of his earliest successes was a homemade radio transmitter that effectively broadcasted over a limited distance. This was only the beginning. As a teenager, he engineered a digital navigator, a turbine engine, and various electronic systems that astonished those around him. His ability to conceptualize and develop sophisticated technology without formal education amazed engineers and scientists alike. Jakumbo has often attributed his innovations to divine inspiration. He asserts that his inventions did not result from trial and error, but from vivid visions he received, I began experiencing clear visions even when I was awake. 
I believe God was teaching me directly I could hear instructions and started experimenting with electronic components. No one ever explained their names or functions to me. It was all revealed to me. He describes these experiences as revelations that provided him with deep insights into energy and engineering that challenged conventional scientific understanding in the late 1000s. 990s, he intensified his experiments creating numerous functional devices from discarded materials. His research eventually shifted towards sustainable energy solutions, culminating in the invention of the micronic energy device in 2009. According to Chikambato, the micronic energy device captures radio frequencies from the atmosphere and converts them into usable electrical energy. This groundbreaking technology, when applied to vehicles, eliminates the need for fuel or rechargeable batteries. Instead, the vehicle continuously extracts power from the air, providing an unlimited energy. Supply, if proven scalable, this innovation could completely transform the global automotive industry, making gasoline engines and lithium-ion battery-powered vehicles outdated. Not only is it environmentally beneficial, but it is also a potential game-changer in terms of cost efficiency. Chikumbutso prototype vehicles featuring micronic energy technology showcase remarkable performance metrics. Unlimited range, the vehicle never depletes its power unlike traditional electric vehicles that necessitate frequent recharging high-speed performance. The vehicle achieves speeds over 220 kmph and accelerates from 0 to 100 kmph in just 2 seconds in sport mode. Powerful output, the motor produces 160 kW, approximately 215 horsepower, with 320 to 380 Nm of torque comparable to a standard SUV energy. Independence, the vehicle functions as a mobile power source capable of supplying up to 15 kilowatt of electricity to a household when stationary. These features have the potential to revolutionize not only the automotive industry, but also energy accessibility in areas where electricity is inconsistent. The economic impact of mass producing these vehicles would be immense, reducing transportation costs and reliance on imported fuel while fostering clean energy solutions. However, Chikumbuso's journey has been filled with obstacles. He has encountered opposition, particularly from influential figures in the oil and automotive sectors. He claims that during a visit to Silicon Valley, he and his research partner were poisoned, an act he believes was an attempt to suppress his work. Despite these challenges, Chikumbutsu has received recognition at the highest levels. Zimbabwe and President Emerson Omaga has acknowledged him as a national treasure and stressed the importance of supporting local technology initiatives. Plans are being developed to establish a manufacturing plant in Zimbabwe to mass-produce these vehicles, with estimated production costs around $144,000 per unit. International interest has also risen. Foster Gamble, creator of the Thrive documentary series, dispatched scientists to test Chikumbuzo generator in 2018. Their findings validating its functionality were featured in Thrive 2, which was released in 2020 and translated into multiple languages, bringing worldwide attention to this African innovation with the official launch of Chikumbuzo's self-poetic vehicle, Zimbabwe. If this technology proves viable on a large scale, it could position Zimbabwe among the leading nations in green energy and transportation. This is not merely a victory for Zimbabwe, but for Africa as a whole, showcasing the continent's ability to create groundbreaking solutions. Chikumbuzo's story is one of resilience, brilliance, and unwavering belief in possibilities. His journey from humble beginnings to the forefront of technological innovation serves as a powerful inspiration for inventors worldwide. If history has taught us anything, it's that revolutionary ideas often face skepticism before gaining acceptance. But if Chico's vision materializes, his invention will not just transform transportation, it will redefine the future of energy forever.